All right, so we about to get started. I'm about to whip up a little quick little beat. You feel me? We on the IG live over here. On the camera over here. We about to paint this shit gold, man. All y'all subscribe, hit the notifications. Y'all know what it is. So I had this uh, sample over here chopped up, um, ready to go, a little melody and shit. So that's what I'm gonna start off with. You see, I just chopped it up. template set up on my logic here just to make things quick. Alright, so we got the hi-hats here. 
got them dancing. One th another thing I like to do with my hi hats and some of my drums, mainly my hi hats, is um, put on gig time. I put them on fix. That way the hi hats hit like real short. It's, it's called staccato in the music world when it hits real. It's it's not letting the whole wave play out. So you hear the difference? This the hi hat with the fix on it, and this is what it sounds like without it. It's a slight difference, but you can still hear it. It just gives it more of like a trap feel. put like a little delay on my hi-hats too just to give it so it don't sound so robotic and mechanical when you got a band playing or someone's you know when you got like a beat playing everything is not going to necessarily be right on beat and just be like a metronome I feel like adding a little swing to certain instruments gives your beat more of a like a real not like a live feel but it just don't sound as robotic and like mechanical I just feel like it give it more vibe give it a little more a little more sauce that soy sauce I'm gonna go ahead and add a kick and then I'm gonna add an 808 I know everybody love the bass, everybody all about the bass. One thing about it, if your bass ain't hitting on your beat, don't matter how good it sound, that shit ain't gonna be it. Like, you gotta have them kicks and them 808s banging. beats like an arrangement like certain parts I might let just the 808 play and then certain parts with a beat I want the beat to kind of feel like it's picking up I drop the kick in there with the 808 
it just gives it more power and just feels more like it's, it feels like the beat is building up. Certain spots I might take the 808 and just let the kick ride, and then certain spots in the range I just take, might take the drums completely out. But it, it's just depending on how I like to range the beats, and it just helps me uh, add more of like, like I said, it, it feels like the beat's picking up or it might slow down in certain parts of the beat. making beats with 808s um, always make sure that your melodies and any other instruments you take all the lows out just like bend the, the low EQs and just bring it in a little bit that way the 808s can breathe and the 808s can hit right a lot of producers make beats and wonder why the 808 and their kicks not hitting right it's another secret um, is that you know when when you got instruments and melodies that have low frequencies in the high in the EQs, it just kind of interferes with the 808. So the, the 808 and the kick, you really want those to be the only instruments that you're allowing to um, be in the low end of the EQs. So all the other instruments, especially your melody, make sure you cut off the low end of your melodies and the other instruments besides the 808 and the kick. That'll allow your kick and your 808 to hit the way it should be and it allowed the 808 to be the low part, the low end of the beat. It just sounds better. actually match the beat like you see what I'm going through right now like I don't went through three 808s and it just ain't the right 808 so I'm gonna keep going through different 808s to find the right one that's gonna work <laughs> Metro Boomin. Shout out Metro. Thank you. 
set up anonymous. I'm not disconnecting with y'all. I'm filming over here. I got the camera over here. If y'all see me looking this way, talking this way, I got the camera over here. I'm gonna put this on YouTube. So I like the beat right now. I feel like it still need a couple more sounds. I'm hearing like a little extra melody on top. So I'm about to go through some instruments. See what I can come up with on top of what I got. Kind of hearing like a weird type of synth with some filter on it. Something, something like that. down and then I'm gonna add a filter on it and you'll see how different it sounds once I add the filter automation on sounds kind of annoying right now but I'm gonna go ahead and add the filter on it so you can see what it sounds like <laughs> sounds and then see what we come up with. I usually like to 
like to find a nice instrument that I could throw in there for the hook. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm trying to find something distinctive that I can add for the hook part just to separate the beat between the verses and the hooks.
I played and that shit kind of sound pretty dope, I ain't gonna lie. Open the hi-hats too, try to add a couple of those. 